Welcome to Calibrated, an online app for quickly testing your pipette to manufacturer specs and getting comparison pricing for liquid handling products and services. Today's topic is splash up. Does this happen in your lab? What do you do when it happens? Do you do this? Or maybe this? No, don't do it. If you do this, your lab life will get much, much harder. Hey, can I borrow your pipette? Sure. If you don't clean it out immediately, you're at risk for compromising your own and your colleagues' results. When liquid gets into the barrel of the pipette, it's called splash up. Why be concerned? There are two reasons, or should I say guarantees. First, your pipette will go out of calibration. Because there is very little dead space inside the barrel, the liquid touches the piston and coats it. The liquid dries and or mixes with the piston grease and the performance slowly deteriorates. By the time a researcher notices the pipette isn't working, it actually has been out of calibration for a very long time. The second reason to clean it out immediately is the pipette has a potential to cross-contaminate every subsequent experiment causing seriously unreliable results. Here's what to do when you get liquid inside the pipette barrel. You'll need 0.5% bleach, 70% isopropanol, tap water, grease or oil if your pipette requires it, lab wipes, a clean bench space, gloves, and a few minutes. It's a good idea to have a user manual to refer to as well. Let's get started. Remove the tip ejector. Here are three different types. In this one, you push down the flange and pull off the tip ejector. If it's held on by friction, you can use pliers if you need to. Or just pull it off. Hold the pipette close to your clean work surface to make sure no parts are lost. Remove the barrel by unscrewing the collar like this. Carefully remove the piston assembly, making sure all the parts are removed together. Lay the piston assembly aside to clean later. Rinse the barrel out with tap water and wipe the outside with a lab wipe. If you need to decontaminate DNA, RNA, or a biohazard, immerse the barrel in half a percent bleach for an hour. After an hour, rinse again with tap water and then with 70% isopropanol to dry out the water. Shake out the excess isopropanol and then leave flat to air dry for a couple of hours. While the barrel is air drying, clean and re-grease the piston. Be very careful to reassemble correctly. Notice, pipettes with a seal and o-ring are assembled like this. The piston, spring, spring positioner, heavy small spring, spring holder, seal, the hat end faces to the end, and finally the o-ring is fitted over the seal. Put the collar over the barrel and slightly compress the piston assembly and hold it and place it into the barrel. If it's a micro volume pipette, be careful the piston goes into the barrel and does not get bent. Hold the thumb knob in the blowout position while tightening the collar. Replace the tip ejector. Finally, test the pipette to confirm that it's reassembled correctly and accurate. Calibrated.com is a great place for you to test your pipette for free. So congratulations, you're an expert and have saved yourself a lot of potential future problems. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful.